Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the battery that I've used for my drone, the LiPo battery, the batteries, the rechargeable batteries that I've used for my radio transmitter. Uh, that is the FlySky FSI 6S and the charger that I'm going to use in order to charge my LiPo battery and uh, the other batteries that I have to me, for example, uh, the nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries or the lithium ion batteries. So this one is my battery charger, which is the IMAX uh, B6 AC. So first of all, let's talk about the batteries. So uh, for my drone, I'm using a 3S batteries having a capacity of 3200 milliampere hour and the C rating is 35C, but it is labeled as 35C, which is not correct. Actually, the C rating of my LiPo battery is 60C. So let's talk about what uh, these uh, parameters mean. Like uh, what is uh, the meaning of 3S? 3S or 4S means the number of cells. 3S means the battery has three cells uh, connected in series. 4S means the battery has uh, four cells connected in series. Each of the LiPo cells uh, consist of uh, 3.7 volts. So three cells will be making 11.1 volt as they are connected in series internally. In other words, four cells will be making 14.8 volts as long as they are connected in series. So that's all uh, about the um, S, 3S, about the meaning of the 3S and 4S. Now then uh, let's come uh, to the capacity. The capacity of my battery is 30, 3200 milliampere hour. In other words, it is uh, 3.2 ampere hour. So it means that the battery will be able to supply a load that consumes 3.2 amperes of current for one hour. So that's about the capacity of the battery. It tells you how much of current it can supply if uh, for, for an hour to a load. And finally, uh, and most importantly, the C rating. The C rating tells you how fast the battery can uh, discharge uh, current. For example, uh, it's labeled as 35C, but as I've told you, uh, the actual C rating of my battery is 60C. So it means that it will be able to supply a burst current of 3.2 times 60, which is 192 ampere. That means the battery is rated as 60 C. It means that the battery will be able to supply a current of 192 amperes at a time. The maximum current of 192 amperes at a time. So that's all about my LiPo battery that I'm going to uh, use to power up my drone, to power up the motors of my drone. And another thing that I would like to mention here, as you increase the capacity of the battery, for example, if I use a 4,500 milliampere hour battery, 3S, in that case, the weight of the battery will be too much. What is the main objective for, uh, for uh, using a battery having a larger capacity? It is obviously to get a, a greater amount of flight time. But as the weight of the battery will also increase, it happens that if you excessively increase the capacity of your battery, then instead of giving it, uh, it, it doesn't give you any additional flight time at one point because the weight of the entire drone uh, increases, the payload increases. So the motor has to uh, 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 be powered with uh, more current. The motor will consume more current to lift the drone off to a certain altitude. As a result, it happens that uh, the effect of uh, increasing the capacity gets nullified by the weight at one point. So I suggest if you're using 3S batteries, then make sure that the capacity is below 4,000 milliampere hour or at, or at most 4,000 milliampere hour. In that case, you can also use the 4S batteries. The 4S batteries uh, provide with a better load capacity. They can offer you with uh, uh, more number of, more amount of current, but the fact is that the weight will increase because it will uh, use four of the cells. So as it has three cells and each of the uh, lithium uh, polymer cells can be uh, charged up to uh, 4.2 volts at most. So with the three cells connected in series, you can get at most 12.8 volts. So that's all about my uh, LiPo battery, the lithium polymer battery. And now let's uh, come to the uh, radio transmitters rechargeable battery. Now the radio transmitter operates with four AA batteries. Now if you're using the non-rechargeable batteries, then it will happen that the batteries will uh, run out very fast because the transmitter uh, consumes a lot of uh, consumes a lot of power. So it happens that if you're using random uh, non-rechargeable batteries, random non-rechargeable AA batteries, it happens that they can uh, give you at most uh, six or seven uh, flights. So in order to have more number of flights, you know, uh, it's of, of course a better option to use the rechargeable batteries. And this is the reason I'm using this rechargeable nickel metal hydride 1.2 volts batteries branded uh, with the double pole. 
So these are rechargeable and uh, as I mentioned in the data sheet, you can get around 1000 cycles, but I'm not actually sure if it will uh, give you 1000 cycles, but I'm quite confident that uh, it will at least give 50 or 100 cycles. Uh, that would be quite uh, suitable for us, you know, to uh, conduct, um, uh, conduct around uh, say the more than 100 flights. It would be enough, uh, enough good, I would say. So that's all about my radio transmitters battery. I have uh, plugged in these batteries in this uh, four tank battery um, case or four tank battery holder as you can see. I've done so for uh, charging purpose. And uh, these four batteries came with this box. You know, the quality of the battery, I should say it was very premium uh, once I purchased. Now let's come to the charger. I'm using the IMAX B6 AC charger. Uh, it comes with a built-in uh, AC power adapter, so you don't need to use any external uh, DC adapters as it comes with the uh, built-in um, adapter. But the problem is it heats up very fast as the adapter, uh, the transformer and the other uh, circuitry uh, lies, uh, lies inside the device. So this one is very, uh, very um, handy for uh, charging your uh, LiPo batteries. Uh, even though it's a bit expensive, but it gives you greater amount of uh, uh, life cycles of your LiPo battery. So for charging the LiPo battery, this one is uh, this one should be an ideal option. Of course, there are more expensive options, but uh, this one is a middle budget uh, best option, I would say, the MS B6 AC one. So right now I'm going to show you on how you can charge your uh, battery, uh, different types of batteries using the MSB6 AC uh, charger. Over here, as you can see that the, this is the mains line, which is connected to the, which will be connected to the mains. Let me connect it with the mains. Yes, I've connected it. And you can see that uh, the LCD has been powered up. And if you want to, you can also uh, power it up with the DC adapter over here, as you can see the socket for the DC jack. Over here, I have uh, these two ports. This one, the red one is the positive one and the black one is the negative one. Uh, that will be uh, connected eventually with the, uh, with the battery. And over here, you can see that there are uh, a number of uh, balance ports. And for the LiPo batteries, you can uh, charge uh, up to six cells and here are the balance ports. And for nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium or lithium ion batteries, you can charge more number of cells at a time. Now this one uh, offers you a maximum rated current of 6 ampere, uh, but in that case if you are charging anything with 6 am am ampere, uh, there is high chance that the uh, device may get damaged, there is high chance that the LCD may burn out. So uh, it is not an ideal option you know, to charge any, any of your batteries using uh, 6 ampere. And you can charge a variety of batteries using this IMAX B6 AC charger. For example, you can charge the lithium ion battery, the lithium polymer battery, the lithium iron uh, phosphate batteries, the nickel cadmium, the nickel uh, metal hydride, the lead acid batteries and so on. So there are a number of batteries that you can charge using this charger. So I can say from one of the point of views that it is an universal charger and it uh, gives you the voltage cutoff. I mean, it doesn't charge you charge your batteries with excess voltage and of course there is a balance uh, port that will allow you to monitor the cell voltages individually in, in fact the built-in processor inside the device monitors uh, the uh, monitors the uh, voltage of each of the cells individually and it charges uh, all the cells equally with equal voltage so this is uh, the reason another reason the life cycle of the battery will increase if you're using this uh, battery uh, charger the IMAX B6 AC1 so that's all about the uh, uh, about a very short uh, description of the of of my uh, battery charger of my lipo charger. Right now, I'm going to show you on how you will be charging it, uh, uh, charging your lipo battery using this charger. So I have connected this uh, T plug and the balance port. Uh, one more thing I would like to uh, mention here that I've used a LiPo extension cable and at the end terminal, I have used this AB clip for the protection uh, uh, purpose so that this uh, JST connectors may uh, not uh, come out or may not get loose. I mean, for safety purpose in very single words. So mine one is three cell battery, is a three cell battery. So there are four wires and I'm going to uh, connect it with the balance port so i'm going to hold it yeah i've connected uh, the balance port and right now i'm going to um, i'm going to um, select the option for uh, charging my lipo battery now if you want to before diving into that thing let me uh, show another thing if you want to uh, charge different kind of battery like uh, for now uh, i have a number of batteries like uh well there are four buttons as you can see the stop one the decrease one the increase one and the start or the enter one so 
I'm going to um, uh, charge my LiPo battery. So I'm going to select on uh, enter and I will be, you can, you can select multiple options here. LiPo charge, this is the standard one. The LiPo balance, this is the best one. And, oh, sorry. Uh, I mistakenly click there. Sorry, enter. LiPo charge, LiPo balance, LiPo fast charge. I don't suggest LiPo storage. Uh, well, uh, if you want to store your uh, LiPo battery for longer time, like for around two weeks, for a month, then of course you have to store it uh, at a voltage of 3.8 to 3.85 volts per cell. And you can discharge your battery to the storage mode followed by this option, but the uh, charger will heat up in that case. So these are the multiple options that uh, that I have here. And uh, finally, uh, let's see uh, what, I, what else I have here. Yes, I want to show you where you can get, uh, okay, where you can get the lithium and uh, charging option. For example, there are different, there are a variety in the lithium, uh, variety of lithium ion batteries, like the lithium, lithium batteries, like the lithium ion battery, lithium polymer battery, um, lithium uh, iron phosphate batteries and so on. Now, mine one for now is set for lithium polymer because uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to charge this, uh, uh, lithium polymer battery right now but if you want to charge the lithium ion battery then you just simply click here okay uh, click here on, on start or enter and then you uh, click on increase you see the LIHV I don't know what HV means comes out the uh, LIIO which is the lithium ion battery comes out the LIFE must be the lithium iron phosphate comes out so that's how you can uh, get uh, different types of uh, lithium batteries charged using this device. But for now, I'm going to charge out, uh, charge the lithium polymer battery or the LiPo battery. So I'm keeping the uh, LiPo 3.7 volt, uh, um, as you can see. I'm, I'm going to keep this uh, mode. 3.7 volt means each of the cells of the LiPo battery uh, consists of uh, 3.7 volt. The standard voltage is 3.7 volt. When you are discharging the battery, make sure that it is not below 3.7 volt. If it is below 3.7 volt, of course you can get it below 3.7 volt, but in that case, the life cycle of the battery will decrease. So it is ideal to uh, discharge it up to 3.7 volt and charge it up to 4.2 volts. I mean, uh, within 3. Point, uh, for, from 4.2 up to 3.7 volts uh, per cell, I can get around uh, 15 minutes of flight time. So it is quite enough for me i would say so i'm keeping the lithium polymer option i'm going to hit on enter okay i'm going to get out from here okay now let's go on program select load data save data uh lithium lith lithium polymer battery now i'm going to cl click on enter so i'll be uh, 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 charging the battery with the lithium polymer balance charging option you can see that lipo balance is here and I will be uh, charging it with uh, uh, 1.3 ampere, not 1.4. So I'm reducing the current by 0 0.1 ampere. So LiPo balance 1.3 ampere, 11.1 .1 volt, 3S. I'm going to click on um, start or enter. You have to hold it for around three seconds. So I'm holding it for three seconds. No, 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 you have to click it. Uh, you have to hold it later. Clicking it once again. And now you should hold it for three seconds. Okay, something is wrong. Okay, now let me hold it. Yes, it's checking the battery. Yes, uh, it has checked the battery, three cells. I have to confirm by clicking on enter. Yes, it's been confirmed. So you can see that uh, LI3S, that means it's charging the LiPo battery, the three cell LiPo battery, BAL means the balance charging mode. 1.3 ampere, which is the rated charging current. 11.44 volts it is it indicates the uh, currently it indicates the current amount of voltage in the three cells and uh, 21 22 it tells you the elapsed times and down here you can see that uh what four zeros and one zero it, it tells you how many how many milliampere of currents have been stored in the battery uh, since it's been uh, charging so 13 milliampere 14 milliampere and it will keep increasing it will uh, a charge uh, up to 12.8 volts and if you click here then you can check uh, the cell voltages individually okay and if you click here then you can see a number of things like the capacity cutoff uh, it can charge at most 5000 milliampere hour at a time uh, you can see the safety timer it will uh, turn off after 120 minutes or two hours and many more things so i'm not interested about those things so let the charging go on uh, as the charging completes, as the uh, cell voltage, uh, all the cell voltages, uh, combined voltage reaches 12.8 uh, volts, it will uh, give a sound, it will give an alarm and the charging will uh, uh, be cut. 
So that's the best part about this charger. Uh, let my battery uh, keep charging as I have to conduct a number of flights. So that's all for now. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Bye for now.